As we know, Tesla unveiled the new hands of Optimus late last year at the Wii Robot event. They have been completely redesigned to improve water resistance and integrate more sensors. The new hands fully cover the actuators and some wiring unlike the hands on the Optimus Gen 2, and Elon Musk previously stated that only Gen 3 would feature these upgraded hands. Why are the new hands of Tesla Optimus considered a masterpiece? What are Tesla's plans for the Tesla Bot Gen 3? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. Welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 5,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. In the new image shared by the Tesla Optimus team on X, this is the first time we've seen Optimus in an all-black design since the debut of Gen 2. Based on our search using the Grok AI platform, this variant of Optimus appears to be designed for a Mars mission, announced by Elon Musk in March 2025. Unlike Gen 2, which was built for Earth-based tasks such as factory work, this version features a helmet and visor for space travel, providing protection against the harsh conditions of Mars. For years, Tesla has demonstrated rapid progress in improving the flexibility of robot hands. It seems the company began by researching and developing the initial hand design and launched the Tesla bot with 11 degrees of freedom. In just four years, that number has doubled to 22 degrees of freedom, according to Elon Musk. Although the two joint fingers do not yet closely mimic the human hand, the robot has already been able to perform most tasks, including those in factories and daily human life. Since the Optimus project was announced, Elon Musk has made it clear that Tesla has no intention of following the storyline of I, Robot, Terminator, or any other fear-inducing sci-fi film where humanoid robots turn against humanity. Instead, Musk is confident that the Tesla bot will be more like C-3PO or R2-D2 from Star Wars, designed to assist humans with difficult, repetitive, and mundane tasks. The new black design, or any other color for that matter, doesn't truly define its nature. In fact, Tesla has previously showcased a bronze-colored Optimus. This clearly suggests that Tesla Optimus will likely come in various color options, or possibly in three different variants designed for different purposes. Optimus Gen 3 is likely to be redesigned to strike a balance between aesthetics, cost, and mass production capability. That doesn't mean it will look cheaper, quite the opposite. It will likely adopt the same approach Tesla uses with its electric vehicles. Take the refreshed Model Y, for example. It's been redesigned to be better and more efficient without increasing production costs. When Elon Musk said that the Tesla bot would eventually be sold for around $20,000, most of us assumed that was the price for the entire Optimus robot. But that's not entirely the case. Tesla bot will likely come in three versions. The white Optimus Gen 3 variant, priced the lowest, will be widely used and sold on the market. It will be capable of performing repetitive tasks in factories and confidently handling human healthcare tasks at home. A bronze-colored version is likely a more premium variant aimed at a higher-end market. Although it may not differ much in design, it resembles Tesla's approach with its vehicle lineup, upgraded performance without drastically changing the look. The same likely applies to this Optimus version. It may come equipped with a completely different battery pack, possibly still using 4,680 cells, but with higher performance or even more advanced solid-state battery technology. Finally, a fully black version is likely the most advanced variant, though it may not be a commercial product. Tesla already has concrete plans for 2026, confidently stating that Optimus will take part in its Mars exploration mission. This fully black version is equipped with additional solar panels around its body, enabling the Tesla bot to extend its independent operating time without needing to recharge at a station. Additionally, from our perspective, if the Tesla Bot Gen 3 can do everything a human can and operate for at least 10 hours a day with minimal maintenance, then a $50,000 price tag actually sounds quite reasonable. When you consider the average price of a typical humanoid robot today, it usually ranges from $100,000 to over $150,000. That's why, for decades, 
no company has confidently claimed they could mass-produce humanoid robots at scale. But Tesla is different. Their production costs tend to decrease over time. So we believe that as production scales up, the cost of all Optimus variants will become much more accessible. For the two commercial variants, there may be a few key differences to note. The more premium Tesla bot variant could be equipped with hands that feature three jointed fingers, significantly increasing the degrees of freedom. This version might also allow the robot to access the full suite of full self-driving capabilities. This is entirely plausible, considering how Tesla handles its electric vehicles. For example, the full self-driving option gives users access to the complete autonomous driving program. But it comes at a cost of $8,000 when selected on the Tesla website for the Model Y Juniper. So, I mean, ultimately, I mean, I think, I think there'll be, we'll, we'll be making tens of millions of robots a year type of thing. It's like serious volume. Maybe 100 million robots a year. Tesla could eventually produce tens of millions, or even hundreds of millions, of Optimus robots per year. That would mean manufacturing at an absolutely insane pace, but that's a long-term goal. A more realistic milestone for now would be around 1 million Optimus units per year. Tesla, we will need a highly autophorbated assembly line where every component, from batteries and actuators to sensors and the robot's frame, is assembled with incredible speed and precision. Um, and Tesla has some important missing ingredients that, that others don't have, which is our, our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz, Tin Man. When Elon Musk talks about the Tesla bot having a real brain, he's referring to an extremely sharp information processing system, one that could potentially surpass humans in understanding and reacting to the world around it. It sounds crazy, and you wouldn't even need to give it a command. That's exactly what Musk envisions. A brain intelligent enough to read the situation, understand the environment, and act accordingly. However, for the most affordable version, rumored to be priced under $20,000, it is speculated that it could be used as a remotely operated product. This would be based on VR control systems and supporting control devices, combined with an AI capable of operating at about 50% automation. If we've ever discussed why Tesla chose not to use LiDAR in combination with a camera system for Tesla Optimus, some believe the decision stems from LiDAR's relatively large size and increasingly high costs. However, the tech world never stands still, and some suppliers now have the capability to produce an entirely new kind of LiDAR device, weighing and measuring as little as 7 millimeters. These compact sensors, developed by RoboSense, can be integrated into robots and manufactured at a cost of just $499. Back to Tesla Optimus, as shown in the recent video Navigating Rough Terrain, the robot demonstrates impressive flexibility and balance control, even when going uphill or downhill. What's most fascinating is that Milan Kovac, Vice President of Engineering for Optimus, explained exactly what it took to get Optimus to this point. The robot is genuinely progressing in its ability to walk and can maintain balance on uneven ground, even while walking blind. Tesla has achieved this using only sensors, all powered by a neural network running on embedded computing hardware. And here's the key question. What kind of sensors did Tesla use that allowed the robot, without a traditional camera setup, to accomplish this? The answer could very well be LiDAR one of the technologies Elon Musk himself once deemed unnecessary for Tesla products. Essentially, Tesla is building Optimus from the ground up, relying on as much supplemental data as possible during vision training. This is similar to how they train FSD on vehicles by using LIDAR rigs to validate the accuracy of their vision system. This approach proves that Tesla does in fact see value in compact LiDAR sensors for Tesla Optimus. The LiDAR sensor we are referring to is not a traditional rotating mechanical type. It is a fully solid-state LiDAR, equipped with an ultra-wide 120 by 90 degree field of view. It combines high performance, a compact design, and automotive-grade reliability. 
This enhances the robot's ability to detect object sizes, contours, and distances in real time, making it highly capable in tasks like obstacle avoidance, mapping, and navigation. This technology promises to provide comprehensive and precise environmental awareness, essential for advanced autonomous navigation and decision-making. With a maximum detection range of up to 75 meters, seven times that of conventional depth cameras, it represents a significant leap in robotic perception. Building a realistic surrounding environment becomes more achievable with over 260,000 points per second and 144 neatly structured beams. This allows for precise detection of both static and dynamic small obstacles. It excels in efficient 3D mapping, accurately reconstructing environments such as roads, yards, homes, warehouses, and ports. To better illustrate the effectiveness of LiDAR technology, we would need a comparison test between Tesla's camera-only autonomous driving system and a LiDAR-based system, such as one powered by Luminar. The experiment would evaluate how vehicles react when encountering a child on the road under six different scenarios. Standing still, suddenly running onto the street, in fog, in rain, under bright light, and standing behind a wall. Test results showed that LiDAR generally performed better, mainly due to its superior performance in foggy and rainy conditions. There are also some notable drawbacks to vision-only technology. For example, it can struggle when facing bright lights, and Tesla has previously encountered issues with vehicles failing to detect trucks crossing the road, leading to accidents, or confusing overpasses with signs or the sky. Both of these problems can be addressed by cross-referencing data from multiple sensor types. Relying solely on vision would limit Optimus's working environment and prevent it from performing tasks in conditions involving fog, mud, or dust. What significant update on Tesla Optimus's vision? All right, it seems that everyone knows Tesla Optimus is equipped with a set of eight sensor cameras, but perhaps you've overlooked how these camera systems actually work. Remember, Optimus runs on the same overall AI stack as FSD. In fact, Optimus uses the FSD computer and a branch of the FSD stack for vision-based tasks. The camera array builds a 3D model of the environment with accuracy nearly equivalent to the human eye. Then, the hardware component processes the images captured by the cameras in real time, with a latency of just 0.2 seconds. That represents a significant leap forward in technology. According to our research, a new four-camera cluster technology has been developed, integrating multiple sensors to provide a hardware-level fusion of depth information, image data, and motion posture data, all synchronized in both time and space. This enables the robot to capture comprehensive details about its environment, overcome interference from sunlight and highly reflective surfaces, and adapt to a wide range of indoor and outdoor scenarios. With a maximum range of up to 70 meters, six times greater than that of conventional 3D cameras, this distance is well suited for a robot designed for indoor tasks like Tesla Optimus. It breaks the limitations of traditional cameras, delivering superior performance to fully meet the demands of intelligent robots in obstacle avoidance both indoors and outdoors as well as in mapping and hand-eye coordination. This significantly enhances both efficiency and safety. Tesla has shown what the robot sees, and it looks very familiar. That's because the neural networks are being pulled directly from autopilot. However, training data must be collected specifically to represent indoor environments and other objects not typically encountered in vehicles. Engineers have trained the neural networks to identify high-frequency features and key points in the robot's camera feed, such as the charging station. Tesla has also utilized the autopilot simulator, but adapted it for use with the robot programming system. Optimus's torso houses a centralized computer, which Tesla says is designed to handle everything the human brain does, such as processing visual data, making split-second decisions based on multisensory input, and facilitating communication. In addition, the robot is equipped with wireless connectivity and audio support. The reliance on AI and machine learning algorithms enables Optimus to master the automation of a wide range of tasks. This is because it can adapt based on the context of its environment. 
In addition, Optimus is equipped with an intuitive navigation system powered by an end-to-end -end neural network for movement. It has been trained on a library of natural motion references, such as taking a box off a shelf, lifting an object and placing it on a surface, taking medicine out of a container, watering plants, and pouring water. Optimus's fully trained neural network has also been shown to autonomously classify objects by color, continuously learning in the process. Tesla Optimus is often compared to Boston Dynamics Atlas. While Optimus is designed using aluminum and plastic, Atlas incorporates steel, aluminum, and 3D printed components. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.